What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and let's do the final hard trial, and then we can get back to all the ranked and judgment videos that we love to do. So last time we beat the Beastmaster, which was really difficult. Um, you can go check out that video. It was yesterday. And uh, today we're doing the Diplomat, so Synergy is a vital to good battle sense, but rely on it too much and the smallest crack in your armor can become a graping wound. Nothing proves that point better than your two armies suffering from an uneasy alliance. Prove your loyalty and dominate. So to win, you have to destroy three idols, normally. And my units enter the board with uneasy alliance. And you might think that's good initially, because uneasy alliance is almost like a champion ring, because it gives you uh, that, that creature or unit, uh, I'm not sure if I can go on units, um, plus two attack. But... When a unit with uneasy alliance dies, all other units with uneasy alliance also die. So basically, if I lose a unit, my whole board gets wiped. So, to play this trial, my idea was to just have one creature. One creature. And that is a Kinfolk Brave, because it attacks every time I'll turn. I'll just try to enchant it so it will not die. I will not let it die. I'm actually going to change this a little bit. I want Oak Blood. And a Verdant Veil. And I don't think I really need the uh, plating or the leeching ring. Actually, heal by two. That's not too bad. I don't know. I don't think I need the machinated. Okay. And let's take out one of the rumbles. I doubt I should take out one of the rangers main. Okay, so I think this super brave deck will work really well. I just get a brave out and uh, buff him up. Also, he's going to start with four attack because of the uneasy alliance. So I'm just going to hope I have a brave or an IV eagle in my starting hand and see if I can win this. I go first. Awesome. Good luck. Have fun. The diplomat. And I do not have a brave or IV eagle in my starting hand, so I will draw a new hand. And this time I have an IV eagle and a brave. So that's awesome. So I'm not going to be playing two creatures at the same time. That would be stupid. But I'll have an extra brave just in case I do lose a brave for some reason. Like if it dies before I can get like the enchantments on it. So I will go ahead and get rid of the blow oil. I just put blow oil on because it's like a growth enchantment, but it really doesn't really matter. So if I put a brave down, they'll both get like six attack. But then if one of them dies, the other one dies. So I don't want to do that. I think I'm just going to stick with one. And, um, you know, I'm going to go right ahead and go straight for, uh, keep this break just in case that one dies. I'm going to go straight for that Machination Mindset as soon as I can. I think that's going to really help. As long as there's, like, no soul steal, that'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and sacrifice this for wilds. Let's just get the Machination Mindset on it already. And, wow. Yep, you should be scared of the Diplomat. And as long as there's no Damning Curse or Soul Steel coming soon, I'll be okay. Let's get some enchantments on this thing, please. No enchantments. And Soul Steel and Earthen Mirth do not do much, so... I'll go ahead and... Do nothing. And I... I won't Rager's Bane. Again, I don't want to play Brave. I just want to keep that one creature on the board. Okay, no damage curse or soul steal. Irva, okay, it's fine. Now let's see. Let's get a I really need health buffs. I really need health buffs. Well, that's pretty good. Now you won't be targeted. And I'll just hit that. Alright, cool. Umlasa. Okay. Now I will. How do I get more health? I need like an oak blood or something. Or stack cards. I'm gonna sacrifice that now. I'll give this, I'll just give it an Earthen Mirth, even though I don't really need it. He can't be killed right now. I guess the only way he can kill, get killed is if, like, there's, like, like the Devon has, like, a couple cluster hacks and then, like, a 
Baleful Witch. I think that would be like the only way. All right, if he gets like a Witch Doctor down, it'd be hard to break through. Let's get rid of the Blood Boil. There we go. Oh, blood. All right, so now this Brave is amazing. A nine, one eight with Relentless. So next turn I might be able to win. Let's see. It's looking good. Oh no, I can't move. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, this is so bad. Wait, I can't move with the Umlasa Hide Guard. Wait, no, no, no. But luckily it will die. So I'll just have to wait a turn, I guess. And I will Rangers Bane. This Umlas High Garbs, I might get in the way. And just in case, get like an extra magic armor. I don't know why you would need extra magic armor. Okay, there we go. So this guy's gonna get healed too. Okay. So let's win. Alright, GG. Let's see what I can do to win. Okay, not much. Machination, Stag Heart, Leeching Ring. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That was an uneventful finish to the trials. Yeah, so Double Mat was easy. Second round's easy. Duel easy. Freha easy. Arbalisters and, and Enigma were medium. And then the hard ones were Beastmaster, Nog, Pit, and Unfair Udo were the three hard ones from, I think, the set of trials that came out with waypoints. So that'll be it. So stay tuned for Judgment Rank videos all over now again. Uh, now you guys all have uh, ways I beat the trial. So again, look in the description for the deck list. And I will see you tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. Like the video if you enjoyed. And I hope you keep on scrolling, scrollsers. See you next time.